This program is brought to you by Emory University. A mother aphid can produce um, 10 babies a day, um, and 10 days later those babies will be having babies. So you can get rapid population growth. And this is one reason that aphids are huge um, pests for a lot of our agricultural crops. So they reproduce really rapidly, you get a lot of aphids, and many of those aphids can transmit plant viruses. And so they can be a huge plague for farmers who are trying to protect their crops from those plant viruses. Because aphids are huge agricultural pests, and they're being used in labs throughout the world to study processes of development, um, the use of genes or gene regulation, to study symbiosis or the association with bacteria and microbes. The international community that studies aphids got together to form a consortium um, and decided to sequence the pea aphid. And so we know a lot about Drosophila fruit flies, um, we know a fair amount about mosquitoes, and about um, honeybees, and so we've compared the aphid genome to those, and we found some striking um, results. So one is that P. aphids seem to have many genes in duplicate. So they have two copies of a gene that many other insects would only have one of, and we don't know what this means. Um, another interesting result is that um, in terms of the aphid immune system, it was thought that most insects probably had a core set of genes that were involved in mounting an immune response and aphids be, seem to be missing some of those critical genes. Um, and so that becomes, leads to the question of how aphids protect themselves in the absence of what was thought to be sort of the fundamental genes necessary for an immune response in insects. What's very interesting about aphids is just like us, they um, are hosts to a number of beneficial bacteria. And for a long time, humans thought of most microbes, bacteria and viruses and fungi as bad, that they made us sick. But what we understand is that in most animals, including humans, we're dependent on microbes, in particular bacteria, for survival. That we get nutrients from those bacteria, those bacteria can provide protection against other path pathogens and things that can harm us. Um, and what we don't understand in most systems is how a host will maintain associations with the good microbes while getting rid of the bad microbes. And so what I'd like to be able to do is use aphids as a system to explore that. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.